do you have pre-period acne? Do you have pre-ovulation acne? Do you, you get bad hormonal acne? Do you ever get a horrible zit right before you have a big meeting the next day or a date the night before? Or maybe you're about to go out with your girlfriends and you just want this giant zit that's sitting right on your chin to please, for the love of God, go down. I'm Amanda with Wild Nutrition and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a video. I'm a functional nutritional therapy practitioner and I help women heal their adult acne naturally so that they never have to feel frustrated with their bodies again and can finally have that glowing skin that they've always dreamt about. So I have my hair naturally curly today because it is hot out and there's no way I'm using a blow dryer right now. So check out these blush curls. One of the most common issues I see for women is they get breakouts right before their periods, or right before they ovulate. And it's that jawline, chin, mouth acne that women suffer from so much. And it's usually deep, cystic, and painful. And sometimes it can take weeks to clear up. Now, one of the reasons that you're seeing this hormonal acne pop up right before your period is because you're in something called the luteal phase of your menstrual cycle. Estrogen really takes over and progesterone gets quite a bit lower. When you get that estrogen higher, you're getting estrogen dominance. And that's when you're starting to see acne, PMS, cramping. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through an entire day with me so that you can see the foods I eat, the supplements I take, the lifestyle habits I have that help keep my hormonal acne at bay. And if I have a breakout, actually I did in this video, a hormonal breakout, what I do to bring that down within one day. Hey guys, so it's about 7 a.m. I woke up naturally. Um, this is something I've been doing for a while now um, and not waking up to an alarm. So going to bed earlier and then waking up naturally um, made a huge difference for me. So letting my natural level of cortisol go up to wake me up but not spiking it in the morning, huge difference with my hormones, my energy level, and obviously my acne. And I'm gonna have 16 ounces of water plus a little salt before anything else, before coffee, before food, I'm gonna get some water going. So now I'm gonna have my morning matcha. It is packed full of superfoods um, and helps kickstart elimination. It is just amazing for you and it's a little bit of caffeine just to get going in the day. It's got Four Sigmatic Mushroom Blend, matcha, collagen, and dandelion fruit, which is really, really awesome for your liver. And some walnut milk, and this only has two ingredients, which is awesome. And I like that they make it with walnuts because that is a ton of omega 3s. So guys, when I wake up in the morning and if I have anything that pops up, even little bitty one, I like to put on a beauty counter charcoal facial mask. And I'll link below to this. This is great for an all over mask or if you have a little spot like I did here that came up and you just wanna dry it out, clean it up. I really love this mask. Breakfast time. So we're gonna have some sweet potatoes, pasture-raised eggs, and a bunch of leafy greens this morning for breakfast. I'm in my luteal phase, which is the phase right before menses. And this is usually when estrogen starts to climb and so does progesterone. But if you don't have a healthy balance and you have too much estrogen, that's when you start to see hormonal acne. And so lucky enough, by the way I've been eating, I've reduced my hormonal acne greatly. I don't really have maybe one two breakouts, usually one, um, and sometimes none at all. So by eating root vegetables like sweet potatoes and dark leafy greens that help the liver eliminate excess estrogen, then I'm helping reduce my hormonal acne and keep that estrogen pro to progesterone level balanced.
digestive bitters. They start digestion. They're really, really wonderful for gut health. Okay, so after eating, it's supplement time. Bromelain is digestive enzymes that help break down proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. So this is really, really key for gut health and getting the nutrients out of the food that you just ate. So super key for good skin, clear skin. Next is beta TCP, which is a mixture of vitamin C, pancreatic, pot, pan pancreatic lipase, uh, organic B concentrate, and taurine, which helps your liver and gallbladder release bile. And bile is key for eliminating excess estrogen and other hormones. Um, so really important to take, especially when your estrogen is starting to go up during that luteal phase. Take it after every meal. BioProtect is basically a daily multivitamin, and it's a mixture of vitamin A, C, E, zinc, selenium, um, stuff that helps your liver process um, out toxins and hormones. Um, so this is great to take daily, and I usually take it with, twice a day. Bioglucozyme Forte, this helps balance your blood sugar. So again, when it comes to your hormones, the key is having balanced blood sugar and balanced adrenals. And if you don't have that, then you're just throwing off your hormones. So this is wonderful for helping keep those balance and the vitamins that you need to do that. MCS2, this is the last one. I take this usually twice a day, morning and night, and this helps my liver again detox. This is pretty strong. I don't recommend taking it until you've worked with a functional nutritional therapy practitioner and your gut is functioning properly. Everything is moving wonderfully. Hi guys, so I've been working all morning since uh, breakfast for the last few hours so I want to make sure I get up I move I get my lymphatic system going so I'm gonna go for a walk with my Loki dog and we're gonna get some vitamin D but make sure you protect the face <laughs> it's midday and I just want to do a little touch up on that little guy I got so I'm basically just going to put a little more tea tree oil on it and lavender oil and so far it's helping. Okay, so it is lunchtime and I honestly have not ate since breakfast. Breakfast was so filling with a balanced carbohydrate, protein, and fat that I really don't get hungry anymore in between meals. My blood sugar is stable. If you get hungry in between meals, make sure you have a snack. The whole goal is to balance your blood sugar so that way your adrenals don't get stressed out and your hormones don't get all wacky. All right, we're gonna make a stir fry sausage cauliflower rice, so fried rice, but with cauliflower and some chicken sausage. It's gonna be so good, but it's gonna be chock full of vegetables. Um, so check it out. Cauliflower sausage fried rice is done. Bam! Lots of veggies included in. So I've got the cauliflower sausage fried rice and then some leftover sushi that we made last night with some local uh, wild halibut. gonna have an afternoon snack of some carrots and some dairy-free cheese this is my favorite brand they're super clean and it's made with cashews so you're still gonna get that full fat that's gonna sati satiate you till dinner time um, and keeping your blood sugar stable so this is an afternoon tea of stinging nettle leaf and I just got it in there. We're gonna make an iced tea because it's hot and some matcha. Okay, so 
can't take you in the shower with me, but can show you what I just used. So when it comes to beauty care products, I like it as simple as possible. And I also make sure that the products that I'm using don't use chemicals that could be disrupting my endocrine system, basically my hormonal system. So I'm gonna show you which ones I like to use. So Beauty Counter has a shampoo and conditioner that I love to use. Um, there are 1800 chemicals that they never use, so I can always trust them. Pure Castile soap and from Dr. Bronner's and Shop Goods Wash, I don't, that's only a local San Diego brand, are two that I use on my body, both very clean. It's that time of day, dinner. Yes, love dinner. <laughs> All right, so we're having broccoli cheddar soup, dairy-free cheddar, and chicken tenders. I have to think about that for a second. I'll show you guys when I'm done. super helpful for you guys and I'm glad we got to connect and you got to see what a day in a life was for me and the foods I eat, the supplements I take, and the lifestyle habits that I try to incorporate so that way I can have clear skin. And if you're curious about any of the products that I use, I linked them below. I also, I'm so excited to share this with you guys, created a free guide on foods that help heal hormonal acne. So you can download that on the link below as well. And I'm even more excited because... I'm doing an online course for hormonal acne. So this course is going to be bomb. I'm just so excited for it. It's going to be so, so good. And I mean, you guys, it's going to be life changing for you. And I'm so excited. I'm basically taking all the information that I would be giving to you um, as a client one-on-one -on -one, and putting it into a course that's more cost effective than a one-on-one -on -one session. I want you guys to have access to this information and to be able to get started now. I know that many of you have struggled and you've wondered, I eat a healthy diet. I've taken Accutane. I'm working out and living a healthy life, but I'm still seeing this acne. So I want to break it down for you and give you all the information you need to know so that you can start healing your hormonal acne. So if you want, you can hop onto the VIP waitlist linked below, and this just gets you updates on when it'll be released. And then when it is released, you'll be able to get discounts and bonuses with being on this list. So pop onto that. And as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, guys. Bye.